Now, as I mentioned earlier, time to get into the SA Sports Awards. Uh, Awards, rather, the 11th edition of the Glittering Evening took place this weekend. A couple of big names, as you'd expect from an Olympic year, our Olympic stars, medalists, dominating this weekend. Um, we welcome back Ryan and Keegan. Um, we can smile about these awards now. It really has been a great year for South African athletes right across the board. We've seen our guys do it in the pool, and then certainly on the track in an Olympic year with a very small team we managed to dominate. But let's look at our newcomers. Um, Henry Skuman, Brad uh, Binder up there, and, and of course Brad taking the Moto3 um, GP Championship, but Antando Matlangu, 14 years old. What do you make of this young man? It's crazy. I mean, the talent there, I don't... Look at that face, man. Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't think I've seen anyone like that come out of South Africa, especially at his age. Um, and it's great to see. It's great to see the development in sport, especially for the, for the disabled body people. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. Um, and it sends out a, a wonderful message as well. Hope he's got a good manager behind him because that, that sponsor, uh, sponsorship space has just opened up. Yeah. Um, then when we come to the team of the year, um, we obviously, obviously had our men's Cox, uh, Coxus pair doing brilliantly. The Blitzbocker, a bronze medal at the Olympics, coming second for, I think, the fourth season on the Trot in the World Series. But Mamalodi Sundowns are crown champions. And, of course, they've got their star to prove it. Uh, Keegan Sundowns. Getting, uh, I think, that, that final piece of, of trophy wear that they've been desperately wanting, and it's got them across. Yeah, definitely. I think they were dominant this season, and uh, they, they're still the most dominant side, I, I feel, in South Africa at this point in time. They're showing it now, obviously having to play all the catch-up games in the PSL now. Um, and uh, rightly deserved, I think. Best team, definitely, in the tournament. Um, came in, uh, some like to say, came in via the back door because they were first uh, eliminated from the competition. Yeah, and then, you forget that, you know, yeah. thing. Allowed back in the competition due to an eligible player playing for the opposition, and it all came in, and they did it. I mean, against uh, if you get a second chance, you, you go away and you go, you go get the trophy, I guess. Um, and <laughs> scary to see, you know, mention playing those catch-up games, but they, they haven't shown any kind of break in form or exhaustion. Again, depth in squad depth seems in squad. to be coming through. <laughs> then our sportsmen, our sportswomen, and sportsmen of the year with a disability, Ilza Hayes and Charles Toy, who we've had on the show. Um, but I think the big ones that everyone was looking out for this year, um, our sports star of the year, we had Casta Semenya, Kahiso Rabada, um, and of course Wade Fenikirk and Wade took it for a second year. He, he really has had the best year. Ever. Yeah, I think it was um, obvious before the, the awards even that Wade was going to take over. Um, and I was actually thinking this morning, even some of the awards that he wasn't eligible for, like the coach of the year award. <laughs> you could have given it to his, him. His coach won that as well. So, um, <laughs> yeah, and they also said last night, I think he's about, got about four or five cars now in the last two years. So. Uh, well, more power to him. He's put in <laughs> years of work, and she's also managed his career brilliantly yeah. as well. And then finally, um, Casta Semenya taking Sportswoman of the Year. Yeah, I mean, again, I think we all knew that. Um, she's had a, had a very difficult couple of years behind her with all the... The all the controversies, controversies yeah. yeah. Um, and I think great to her for powering through it and just dominating. Yeah, all getting the thing. medals, that's what you need. Keegan, yeah. Ryan, thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us this morning again. Sorry about Man United. <laughs> or should, should I be saying sorry about Jose Mourinho? Um, we're going to take a very quick ad break when we return a whole lot more in this breakfast basket. We'll see you now.